Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm going to start by doing battle mode a little bit differently this time, by first going to the password screen and, and entering a special code. Uh, only it's not really all that special, because it's the exact same code the first game had. Only this code does something a little bit different. It doesn't make your characters tiny, it makes the screen close in all the way to the center on the battle mode. So that's how I'm going to be playing the battle mode here. I'm going to be playing it in uh, sudden death ver mode. That's what I believe the, call the code is called, the sudden death. Um, single match, and I believe if you press the select button on the player select screen, you can change their colors. So that is another sort of little dealio thing that you can do here if you'd like to. Um, can you change... No, no, you can't change your own. I bet you have to use the other character... Um, the other character... Not character, dang it! Other controllers to be able to do so. And I definitely want that to be a computer. I mean, I'm only playing this one solo, dang it. <laughs> Alright, next... Uh, three games... Level 9... No, I want it to be two games. What am I saying three games for? Um, the gold bomber is a thing if you win, you'll be able to get... You'll be able to goldenize yourself, so to speak, and um, get a special item to at the start of each match. So I'm just going to leave it on for one match to show you what it's like. It's kind of broken if you do manage to win, because you always start out with a slight advantage compared to your competitors. All right, the first stage is called the usual stage, and... You start out with one bomb of two firepower in each of these stages, and you intend, I mean, you try to power yourself up before you uh, unleash the computer characters to battle you. Um, well, although they'll sometimes, you know, come and try and blow you up. Notice that uh, you've each got your own color bomb, which I think is a rather nice touch to the battle mode. So it's like, oh, I was killed by this character. Oh, I see. And. That one just ran right into a bomb blast. That one was not very smart. Uh, the AI in the battle mode, not very good in the slightest. <laughs> just gonna say that right now. So I'm probably going to dominate these matches pretty well, unless I get really, really unlucky. Because <laughs> you'll notice that I'm focusing on powering up, and that skull, uh, they just managed to grab that f with, like, nothing. <laughs> Even though they shouldn't grab the skull. I've explained this before in the first game, actually, even though the computers still like to grab the skull. Uh, the skull can give you a very varied amount of effects. You'll see them as you go. Uh, it's completely random. Whoa! <laughs> I almost uh, got hit with a bomb, but that would have been okay, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna try... I was gonna say try and knock bombs out of him, or not knock items out of him, rather than... Uh, whatever. This might actually go into the sudden death time thing just because it's going on for such a long time. Wait, when does the sudden death start? Oh, there we go. It kicks in at 39 seconds. I was wondering. <laughs> okay, now, the difference between sudden death, uh, the 5656 code, and the, um, just leaving it alone is that normally those blocks would close in only two squares around, like it would only close up to where White Bomber is, but in sudden death mode it closes in all the way over to the center. Anyway, let's start the next one, and I terribly laid that bomb for his bomb. <laughs> Always try and lay your bombs between two sets of bricks, just to save yourself time and get power power-ups as fast as you possibly can. Just a little pro tip, a battle mode thing for you, I suppose you could call it. Um, nope, Blue Bomber, you are not coming. Nope, not in the slightest. Nope, nope, not gonna let you. <laughs> Can I, like, trap him? Oh, come on! <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh, by the way, skulls will not get blasted. They just flip and go off screen like that. So don't even bother trying to blast them unless they're in your way or something like that. But if a character grabs them and that character dies, or... Wait, no, it doesn't It doesn't run out if a character grabs it, pardon me. It's The skull power-up in this game is permanent, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's grab it for the heck of it. Oh, no, no, it's this one! It's where you forcefully are dropping bombs. Oh, when you grab an item, you lose the skull power-up, so it's, it's permanent until you grab an item. That, that's why I was thinking... I knew it wasn't permanent, but at the same time, I felt that it was permanent. That's why I kind of got caught up with my words there, because I wasn't sure. 
<laughs> so yeah, if you ever grab the skull power up and you, you have an undesirable effect from it, grab an item. Like, orange up there, well, I should say that's actually Red Bomber, gonna have a hard time getting rid of that skull unless he touches me. <laughs> Alrighty. Bomb, I mean, the blocks are gonna close in, and I'm going to try to keep my wily opponent there on the outer edges so he gets squished. Will I be able to do it? I don't know. I guess we are about to find out. Eh, nope, doesn't- Oh! <laughs> that could have been a catastrophe. Oh, still could be a catastrophe. This is coming down to the wire, even though it didn't quite come down to the wire. And that's the end of the stage. I should say the end of the match. Like I said, I'm probably going to be dominating these um, battle mode stages pretty well. And I'm going to be showing them all off just for the fun of it. Victory! I'm so sorry I made you guys cry, but had to be done. Okay, now here's what I meant about the roulette thing. You can get these, any one of these items. Although, you could get the sandal, which will slow you down like that. <laughs> and that's the worst possible thing that you could get. The winner gets this item and turns gold at the start of the next match. Alright, so all, the, all the settings were correct, right? Yeah, none of the settings change in the slightest. Alright, this stage is known as the Slippery Tunnel. This is the first gimmick stage. And you'll notice that I'm a golden bomber now. I'm gonna show you those slippery tunnels in just a second. Well, I accidentally went into them. This, the floors are a lot more slippery than I thought they were. <laughs> it looks like the tunnels are connected in only certain ways. Oh, geez. Oh my. No, no, no. Oh! <laughs> or maybe you are shot between them randomly and it just seemed like they were connected in a certain way. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe you can control your direction via the d-pad? I don't remember ever being able to control my direction. Yeah, I was holding up there and I still ended up going to this one, so I so I guess it is completely random as to where you end up. Yeah, you know, the Black Bomber's bombs look greenish, don't they? They don't look, they don't look black and, or gray in the slightest. <laughs> no, I don't want to grab. No, 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 too slippery. <laughs> Man, this, this slippery gimmick would be just horrendous in uh, uh, the story mode of the game, if that was the case. Um, if you didn't notice there, um, the if there's a one, like, you can kick little soft blocks like that if you, if there's only one soft block and there's, you know, they're like, they're like not touching anything else, you'll be able to kick it over. But if there's touching another block like that, you won't be able to. And Black just committed suicide. <laughs> All right, one more for the win, and by the way, that sandal, if you didn't know, it slows you down. I, oh, no, wait, I did tell you that, so that's why you don't want to get the sandal there. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I should have dropped the bomb there to try and trap black, but I was a little too slow. I, what happened to blue? <laughs> oh, power bomb power up. That, that makes your first bomb that you drop a power bomb and it gives you maximum firepower but only the first bomb it's not it's not like the maximum firepower up so if i got so if i drop two bombs oh no 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 oh i got really lucky there so if i had two bombs like that and i got oh i could have trapped the computers there in that corner cuz they can't go back into a tunnel unless they walk away from a square but anyway you can't drop see the second bomb is not a power bomb that you drop when you have the power bomb power up. That's what I'm trying to say there. The second and further bombs it's a, in, in succession. I don't know why I try to over explain things, or I, I should say I naturally over explain things. That's just, it just seems to be how things go. <laughs> it, wow, double kill there. Woo! And that's the end of the slippery tunnel. Do we need to see the victory screen? No. <laughs> Seeing the victory screen again is just like bragging or something like that. Alright, what do I get? What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? I get the kick each game. Now, if you turn off the golden bomber, it you won't have this um, item advantage thing. This is why I said that I was only going to show it for the first two games, because it just gives you too much of an advantage. Well, I guess it's not that much of an advantage, but it still gives you more of an advantage than it needs to be. <laughs> um... The third stage is known as Oshikura Manju or or Manju or something like that. 
It works that you can walk across from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen via those tunnels. And what the heck happened to black and blue down there? They certainly turned black and blue after that, but seriously, oh my god. They just, they just like got stuck on the corners and they're like, no, I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do here. Should I, should I be running away? No, I don't think I should be running away. Or should I be running away? You know what? I'm just going to run into the wall until I die. <laughs> and both of them did that at the same time. I was like, what? Seriously. Wait, is that that orange one keeps going? Oh, I was going to say, I was going to trap. No, it's the red bomber. Dang it. I keep saying it's the orange one, but seriously, it looks orange to me. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the red bomber. Uh, if I was making, you know, a red bomber, I would definitely make the colors deeper. Oh, that was terrible! You can't explain that any other way. Red bomber just trapped himself. <laughs> that was just terrible. Horrible! <laughs> but at the same time, all so much funny. All too much funny, excuse me. Um... What the heck happened there? Oh, there's a max fire power up right- Oh, blue got it. That's okay. Better watch out for blue then. Because it's going to be reaching across the entire screen now. Oh, I don't believe that bomb blasts wrap around to the other side. You know what? I'm just going to test that right now. I'm going to plop one right there. Let's just see for the fun of it. Nope. Doesn't wrap around to the other side, just as I thought. Just got to, you know, go through everything just to make sure I got everything covered in ye olde walkthrough, you know? Gotta confirm my suspicions. <laughs> Alright, eventually one of, they're gonna kill themselves. So it's like, what am I even bothering to, you know, get powers here? I can just walk around the place randomly. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Oh! <laughs> and we were kind of running in. Wait, wait, that means that if I... They, oh, I see why they got stuck on each other. Just like what happened to me there. So I guess maybe they weren't being dumb. They just got stuck into... Pushing each other, and, the, and neither of them would give in. Oh, okay, I guess they weren't being that derp derp. Derpy hooves would approve, though. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know what I should be doing here because he's super fast. Well, I'm super slow. Can he? Oh yeah, I can drop. I mean, he can drop bombs. Excuse me. You know what? I'm just gonna try and trap him around the corner, or trap him inside that area. Oh, it even blocks in the uh, loop or the wrap around there. Uh, can I get you to get trapped in a corner or something like that? That would be pretty nice. Ah, oh, but he's so fast. I was going to say, how am I supposed to get him? But that's one way of doing it. <laughs> Stage complete. Done with the victory. <laughs> Next one is known as... Uh, what is it? Oil shock stage. And this is the one that I thought... This is what confused me into thinking that the fuses um, light up on that one stage, but it doesn't. <laughs> you know, back in uh, World 2, or Stage 2, whatever you want to call it, in the story mode. And you'll notice that the fuse, or I should say those, uh, the uh, gunpowder on the edges there, they... Wait, what? Why didn't it move? The computer I'm talking about. Anyway, you'll notice that the gunpowder there changes the color based on the last bomb blast that hit it. That's a nice little touch they have there. And wait, wait, you can actually trap computers like that if... Oh my god, that a four second match because computers are that dumb? Okay, I gotta play this again. That, that was ridiculous. <laughs> I, I gotta... Uh, yeah, one, one more round on this just for the heck of it. <laughs> just way too fast and this stage is way too interesting okay so so the computers they seem to detect that it's dangerous to place a bomb where like they they know where it's going where the fuse is going to explode I mean you know that it's gonna light up all around the blue the blue bomb blast is really pretty by the way <laughs> on that ring there but it's like they de they detect that it's not safe to be standing on that um, fuse, and yet they drop a bomb, essentially cornering themselves anyway, just like that, at the, at the right side there. Oh my god, that is just embarrassing. <laughs> Terrible, horrible AI, and this could be a fun stage to play too. And why didn't the red one at least go around the corner there? Was it because my white bomb has three firepower in 
distance? I, I don't know. I'm giving up on this one. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when I do the next battle mode stage.